Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, today we're doing some maintenance on the old bass tracker here. Now, a few days ago guys, I noticed I had a, uh, a small leak in the boat and it was coming from the live well pump. I was able to pull the uh, pump cartridge out, took a look at it and uh, everything looked good. It was pretty heavily greased and you know, if you over grease uh, any type of fittings like a O-ring, like this little guy, then that can definitely cause uh, some leakage. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pump location here pull it out talk about the uh, cartridge and then uh, talk about the solution that i've come up with let's go ahead and take a look at that all right guys so that little red cap down there that's where the live well pump is and it's kind of hard to see however there is an aluminum wall right next to it and they made that pump so tight against the aluminum wall there that uh these little flanges that are on top of this cartridge here this is the actual uh, pump motor itself see these top two little flanges here they actually hit against this aluminum wall that goes all the way down uh, into the boat there so I'm thinking that it might not have been fully seated on there and that's probably just enough play that uh, the little o-ring that goes around the um, the little grooves here see if you guys can see that there's a little groove right there and you just put that o-ring right in that little area I just don't think it had a tight enough fit so what I did was I went down to O'Reilly's and this one's almost the same diameter it's just a smidge bigger but it goes on pretty tight however if you guys can see that it's quite a bit thicker though it's a little bit beefier o-ring guys we're gonna go ahead and uh, loop that bad boy up and then put the old cartridge back in, drop the boat in the lake, and then uh, flick that live well on and uh, see if it holds. Uh, so that's what the plan is, guys. So let's go ahead and try that out. All right, guys, just made it down to the lake. It's a little breezy, but uh, let's go ahead and give it the old moment of truth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top here. Okay. Go ahead and put the motor up just a little bit. All right, all right, time to go flick on the old live well, see if this thing's holding some pressure. There we go. All right, looking, uh, looking pretty dry. Some of that uh, residual water's in there probably from a few days ago, but anyways. Boom, got a nice steady stream of water in the live well there. Awesome. Well, sounds pretty good. Looks pretty good. I didn't see any water. Didn't uh, didn't hear anything trickling. And uh, yeah, so two dollar O ring guys picked it up at O'Reilly's. So uh, you guys are having leaky live well issues instead of replacing the whole live well system or even just the cartridge. Um, save yourself fifty bucks and get yourself a two dollar O ring. So. If you guys uh, like this video hit that thumbs up button and if this video helped anybody out there let me know down in the box below but as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one see ya